Hello YouTube, it's me here again, Morris from Morris Mini Motors. Um, late video in the day, um, it's almost dark outside. We have a NGH um, four stroke, this one is a 38, the first version of the NGH. Um, sending to us to get a little bit of loving. Uh, customer bought it second hand, but want us to give it um, a look over before he installed it into his plane. We have done several NGH before and one thing we noticed that they do from the factory between the carburetor and the uh, carb block they add the heat spacer but they don't add gaskets at all not sure why it also happened on the two strokes um, as well but if you don't add paper gaskets there definitely that would leak um, there so we have serviced the carb check the um, uh, valve gaps um, change all the um, all um, crankcase pressure lines back to the intake block itself, change all that brand new, um, give the engine a good um, clean out on the inside. Uh, sit up on the bench. The prop is two blade um, BLR 19 by 10. Um, I learned happy between 11 and uh, 1200 on this prop, top RPM uh, 61 we see at the moment. Um, it comes with a very strange ignition. Um, haven't seen one before. Maybe it's their own made. Didn't have any labels on it. But one thing I'll point out. I have my um, telemetry plugged into it. At the moment it's not plugged in. But if you plug it in, the engine will not start. Ask me why, I don't know. Um, I'm not really here to investigate why that doesn't work. But after engine start, then I could plug it in and get the RPM reading on it. And... I will kind of demonstrate with the engine start, plug it in, give it a good run up, switch it off, try and hand start it again, then unplug it and hand start it and see and show you what, what my finding is. So running on 20 to 1 uh, fuel mix, as you can see, power on. I don't have my digital reading um, power up either because it's not plugged into the ignition, but the engine should be ready to go. Um, starts really easy, the idle is low, so. Um, Let's give it a turnover, bring it on to compression, and that should actually go there. Uh, one more. giving the rpm readout no problem at all engine works i'm gonna unplug it now no i'm gonna switch it off first off. switch it back on there's power then i'm gonna try to hand start it um, sorry for the blackout a bit earlier and that's only because i'm holding the phone and i couldn't get it all plugged in so i'm gonna show you my finding power is still on gonna try to start it nothing at all nothing at all uh, that's not because the engine is not couldn't start or any problem i think it's just 
the telemetry is cutting the ignition now. Don't know why. And it's weird that you plug it in after it starts and it works. So now it's plugged out. Power still on. There you go. I'm gonna unplug that switch the power back on then I'm gonna attempt to start the engine let me get my glove without the telemetry plugged in and you will see the difference As you can see guys i was happy to share my finding with the silver ignition not sure what make it is so i can't really comment too much on it but that's what i find with that setup um i think that's pretty much it sure the customer's going to be very happy with the um, end result of the service um, on his ngh uh, 38 um stay tuned for more great videos to come cheers bye